at 5. Welcome back. For years, the problem just kept getting worse. Children in Montana needing a safe place to live for a night, for a month, or forever. And although the number of children in foster care is beginning to level off, finding families to open their hearts and homes to a child in need is still a challenge. MTN's Jill Valley is on special assignment to learn more about one program that takes the fear out of fostering. Maddox just spent Christmas with the people he calls mom and dad. The toddler quickly became part of the Keller family, who made the decision to be a foster family. Maddox has been with them for about six months. Just being a part of our family, bringing them into what we do and who we are. I mean, we're not flashy, we're not fancy, but, but we love each other deeply. And so uh, to give a child an opportunity to witness that um, was awesome. It's Abby. Abby here. But the Kellers didn't make the decision to foster without a lot of careful thought and prayer, and with the help of a statewide organization called Child Bridge. We are a faith-based nonprofit, um, and so where we go and we seek families is in the churches. Tricia Collins is the regional director for Child Bridge, overseeing four counties in western Montana, finding families to foster children, and then providing those parents with the resources to back them up. We have three different support groups in this area, but we have about 12 to 15 of them around the state. And so we don't just say, come do this and good luck with that. We say, let me tell you about it. And we walk alongside the families through every step of the process. I have every resource I could possibly need, um, either with the state or with, with um, ChildBridge. And so I'm not, I'm not alone in this journey. We're not alone in this journey. But finding families willing or brave enough to open their hearts and homes to a child is just one of the hurdles facing social workers. I think it's fear of the unknown. They just have never done it. They've maybe heard some scary story from a friend of a friend. And so it's just that, that fear of the unknown. My own husband said it was the weird factor. He was afraid it was a weird thing until he said, until the moment the child arrived on our doorstep and he said it was no longer weird. It was just a child in need of help. The number of children entering foster care in Montana is stabilizing. It saw an annual growth decrease from 19% to 13% over the past couple of years. And so far in fiscal year 2019, this trend has continued. And that is good news. Montana DPHHS Director Sheila Hogan says there are many factors that contribute to improving numbers, including investments in the safety, permanency, and well-being of children are having an impact recently launched target initiatives such as the First Years Initiative, as well as new CFSD leadership, have also put us on the right path. The state tells me 65% of the kids in foster care will be reunited with their biological parents. Plus, the state is one of the leaders in what is called kinship placements, where children are placed with family members for care. There are 3,900 children in need of kinship placements or a foster home right now in Montana. That number may seem high, but it's part of a downward trend that seems to show these new programs are working, including getting drug addicted parents some treatment more quickly. I am absolutely encouraged. There has, there was a definite scary time where numbers were increasing drastically and, and we had to really just kind of grasp at every straw uh, to try to get it under control, but they, our community responses and our um, management levels higher up and at the state level, our governor, everybody has been working on these teams to try to get a better understanding of what we need to do as a state. Organizations like Child Bridge are a crucial part of an effort to care for Montana's youth. For Tricia, it's not just a job. She believes in this because she lived it. I was in foster care myself as a young teen. I had suffered extreme abuse and neglect at the hands of my parents and a family stepped in to what was a very messy and angry teenager and invited me into their home and really changed the whole trajectory of my life. And then my husband and I did the same for another child into our family and she has since become our daughter. In Missoula, Jill Valley, MTN News. Child Bridge celebrated about 100 adoptions last year. We've put links on our website about their organization and links to other state programs for information about foster care and adoption. Just go to ktvh.com. Next in sports,